to Naples, Florida, the Paradise Coast. It's a perfect day for some entertainment out on the water. This is the Liquid Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. It's been a challenging year with a lot of ups and downs and abbreviated season, but we are here today about to crown a world champion, and this is how we got here. Take a look. <laughs> I mean, it's just an amazing beach. I mean, look at the beach. White sand, clean, nice. Panama City Beach is always a great place to go to, and having sharkies right here in our backyard just makes it that much more enjoyable. So being able to come race in Panama, honestly, you can't beat this weather. Like, the ocean's insane, the beaches, Florida, you know. So it's just, it's, it's a great venue. Um, you know, it's great to be racing this right after the whole COVID-19 deal. And uh, this is like the first watercraft race in the whole world that's run again. So, uh, yo, know, we're super happy to make the trip down here. I definitely love racing Florida. The conditions are always rough. The water's warm, beaches, you, you can't beat it. I really like that it's so green and uh, you know I mean it's really nice place quiet to come a little bit away from the city so it's, uh, Lake Hartwell is awesome. I love Lake Hartwell because it is one of the biggest lakes in the southeast United States and it's all, all around just a beautiful place and really fun to race on. It's a perfect race site close to the water uh, fresh water big part and uh, keeping the boats clean and everything runs good in the fresh water and uh, flat water I like running the flat water such a nice lake and it's close to my house. I only live two hours away so it's easy for me to get here. And every time I've been here I've always enjoyed my time. Oh, when I heard the Pro Watercross was coming here I was super stoked because literally I used to live two houses down from where we're standing right now and like I would come home from work, get in my CJ7 and drive out here and launch my stand up and jump waves every day. So, uh, you know, this is where, this is where it all started for me. Well, this is our first time here in St. Augustine, Florida, but uh, honestly, this is one of the coolest venues. Uh, historic downtown, which is really nice to go out with your family to dinner and take your kids to the fort um, and see some of that stuff that we don't normally get to when we go racing. But then also, the beach we have here is probably one of the best beaches we've been at. The surf was awesome. Um, I mean, you really couldn't have asked for a better race site than here in St. Augustine, Florida. That's how we got here, but for a closer look on what we can expect today, let's take it up to the experts. Kurt and Rick. Thanks, Eileen. Well, Rick, we saw a lot of great racing yesterday, but it's the pro show today. I'm looking for some spectacular action. Uh, ski class, who are you looking for? Well, it's loaded, and uh, the, what's happened this year in the Pro Water Cross Tour, the emergence of the, what we call the young guns. The young, young kids have moved up out of the junior classes into the pro division, and they are starting to dominate across all the divisions in Pro Water Cross. But there's a, a, a man from uh, Epignani, South Africa, Dustin Matsuris, a multi-time national world champion, that's going to have a lot to say about that. He has been the rider this year in Pro Water Cross and Ski GP. When we switch over to runabout, Chris McCluggage, the Mac Attack, is coming back. Armenio Iantoska, he's here with a couple of Cedars. Interesting to see what he's going to ride. Brian Baldwin, the list just goes on and on. It's going to be an exciting weekend. I can't even wait. Let's start now. Yeah, and they've had historically some phenomenal races. Yes, they We're have. looking for one more like that. Can't wait. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the classes we're going to feature today. First up, we have the Pro Ski GP. These are the stand-up watercrafts that reach speeds up to 75 miles per hour. Next up, the Pro Runabout Box Dog. These boats are straight out of the box, zero modifications, and you can basically buy this at your local dealer. Lastly, the Sport Stock. If you're wondering what it's like out there, hang on. Let's take a closer look at the Find It Now GPS Security Alert, Locate, Recover lap of the day. All right, we're on board the GP Ski with David Cabrera. He bolts out of the starting line and heads into the first turn behind a couple of riders you can see right here. Going to make a left-hand turn. This is a left-hand race course. 
They negotiate around the first turn. This is the most critical part of the race. The first turn is where a lot of uh, bad things can happen or good things. In this case, David gets a clean start. He's got a couple riders in front of him. Then they go into a series of left hand and right hand turns, kind of a slalom section. He'll make this left hand turn and onto the front straightaway. As they go down the front straightaway, they will pass the start finish line, head to the left. They'll make a right, another left, and come up to the log jump, log jump, the great equalizer. As they go up and over the log jump, there'll be a right, left, and once again, they need to make a decision which portion of the split course are they gonna go, inside or outside? Cabrera makes a decision. He's going uh, outside. Cabrera wide open. Chose the outside, not as tight a turns, can keep that speed up on the back straightaway as you see him going wide open. He'll make the turn and head on back through the second portion of the split course. So he makes his way down to the front straightaway. That hard left hand turn, wide open, right and left. And in front of the grandstands, as he makes his way down past the start finish line, that is the lap of the day. Coming up next, we're going to crown the Liquid Molly world champion. And still ahead, you're going to see the most dynamic stunts you can do on a body of water the freestyle competition. Liqua Molly Pro Watercross World Championship presented by Broward Motorsports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Florida's Paradise Coast Naples, Marco Island Everglades. By Liqua Molly, maintain your passion. And by Broward Motorsports, you gotta ride. Liqua Molly does not only stand for outstanding performance, but also for reliability. This is Kevin with Freedom Boat Club here at Lake Lanier, Georgia. We made the switch over to Liquid Molly, which has been tremendous. It dropped our temperatures in all aspects. Exciting time for us. We'll see a whole lot less friction, resulting in longer engine life. This is an oil I encourage everybody else to use. Our customers rely on the quality made in Germany for your outstanding performance experience. If you like having fun on the water, you're going to love Florida's Paradise Coast. From fast-paced water sports to leisurely, laid-back adventures, this place has you covered. And when it's time to come ashore, the action is just as exciting. With award-winning dining, luxurious spas, and countless ways to play. So escape to a place where your options are as endless as the water. On Florida's Paradise Coast, Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades. Broward Motorsports, South Florida's premier power sports dealer. With four locations, Davie, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Tecesta. A huge selection of new and used motorcycles, UTVs, ATVs, boats, trailers, and personal watercraft. Log on, check out the selection, and request a quote. Broward Motorsports will not be undersold. The best staff in the industry are ready to serve you. We also feature a customizing department to build the machine of your dreams. At Broward Motorsports, you gotta ride. Oh, look what you found. Casper's Black Friday sale is here with our best deal ever, up to 30% off for a limited time. So you can make your bedroom magical and wrap up a little comfort for everyone on your list. A plush and cooling mattress and pillows, silky soft sateen sheets, even our glow light for better sleep. All on sale now with our biggest offer of the year. Shop the Black Friday sale for up to 30% off at casper.com. in different continents and entirely different sports or discovering a smoother whiskey by double aging sometimes it's just better to stay curious viewers this weekend get the 5g america's been waiting for horizon 5g is next level unlimited plans fit everyone in your family starting at just 35 dollars with 5g included at no extra cost Plus, you'll get the entertainment and gaming the whole family will love. 100% obsessed with The Mandalorian. I watch a lot of sports. It has all my favorite shows. Switch now and get up to $13.50 off our best 5G phones. It's like a gift on top of another gift. Gifts keep coming at you. Everywhere. This is 5G from America's most reliable network. 
What some call nerves, you call butterflies. While others worry, you know you're up to the task. With a Jeep Compass, life isn't a test, it's an adventure, which is why you're not looking back, you're looking forward. With employee pricing for all, get $4,752 below MSRP, plus $750 bonus cash on the 2021 Compass Trailhawk. Now that I think about it, man, it really been a minute Since I had the time to sit and reminisce about the evil thoughts I had I felt that I admit you, a penny for my thoughts See, you treat it like tuition, if you knew that it costs You never pay attention, you do it because you're just Look for my best interest, I'm just a client loss If I decide to end it at the end and all in all I don't need this intervention Welcome back to Naples, Florida, the Paradise Coast, where we bring you coverage for the 2020 Lickman Molly Pro Watercross World Championship at Sugden Regional Park. It's now time for the final moto for the Pro Runabout Box Stock. Let's take it up to the booth. Curtin Rick. Line up the runabout box stock. Boy, Chris McCluggage uh, re-emerging here today. Really good to see him out here. The multi-time world and national champion. One of the great riders in the sport. And you, you, you kind of have to look at him and go, man, this guy's the guy to beat. As I look down, I look at the number four of Arminio Iantosca. He's the current reigning champion. I can, how can you not go with him? Here we go. 502 Brian Baldwin on the inside. Keep an eye on Baldwin. Keep an eye on oh, Iantosca. Tori Snyder. Oh, Tory Snyder. Tory Snyder got a shot on the outside. Baldwin got a drive on the inside. This is. All right, here we go. On the inside. Number 30. Oh, no, 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 no. Tori getting wide. That buoy moved. Tori Snyder going to come out oh, with some speed, battle. but. That is our Kuwaiti rider who finished Rick. second, is taking the hole shot. That is the Broward Motorsports hole shot. Rashad Aldawas out in front and charging. Oh, they go sideways. Great start by the Kuwaiti. As he is out in front and leading it down the back straightaway right now. There was a little incident over there. That pushed everybody back behind him. We'll check the numbers as they come around. As the rain has subsided here in Naples. Prime running up box stock on the gas. And as Alloway's out in front, that is uh, McCluggage in second. Or Ian Tosk in third, Snyder in fourth, and Brian Baldwin 502. Wow, is the world gone fifth. upside down, Rick? Well, this is going to make for some good racing. Unfortunately for Brian, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's a stroke of luck for us because yeah. we get to see Brian Baldwin charge through the pack now. So Rashad Alderwas, our uh, our Kuwaiti rider out of Kuwait City, doing a phenomenal job. He's out in front of multi-time uh, world champions and national champions, Armidio Ayantaska, Chris McCluggage, a stacked field. The young man from Kuwaiti pushing hard. He's got a drive going. Yeah. He's got, uh, I'm going to say, about a... 22 boat length leg well, oh, lead over Chris McCluggage. Yeah, the 21 year old out of Kuwait has one of the greatest riders in the history of the sport behind him right now. And that's got to feel pretty good uh, on that Yamaha. Man, I'll tell you what, that is very, very impressive. The start and the drive by the Kuwaiti is impressive today. Keeping McCluggage, Ian Tosca, Tori Snyder, and Baldwin behind him right now. What a race. Absolutely spectacular. You know what else is coming? Of crazy Chris McCluggage at 46 or 47 years old. This guy's less than half his age and he's pushing him hard. Absolutely. All right, McCluggage coming down the front straightaway. He is chasing him down. Aldawas has the lead. He's going to start to catch up to some lap traffic and that's where Chris McCluggage's experience comes to play, Rick. 502 Brian Baldwin back in fifth right now. Amazing to see that, but right now it is all number. 30, the yep. Kuwaiti out in front looking over his shoulder, getting a little glimpse of McCluggage, and you probably don't want to do that. I would uh, stay away from looking back when you got 46 on the gas behind you. So number 30, Aldawas out in front and uh, leading this thing. Amazing ride so far by the young Kuwaiti, and the 21-year-old has got the legend, Chris McCluggage, now closing the gap ever so slightly each lap. And when we come back, we'll finish the runabout box stop. 
on the Lake Wamali Pro Watercross World Championship. I always loved you, Svenshan. I never said it about it. Does Thin Rod just die? Yeah. Can you do it again? Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, man. Missed it again. Lexi, rewind 10 seconds. I never said it, <laughs> non attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. Attention, cancer victims who use the Weed Killer Roundup. A federal jury unanimously found that Monsanto's popular Weed Killer Roundup was a substantial factor in causing cancer. You may be entitled to financial compensation. If you or a loved one used Roundup Weed Killer and were diagnosed with non Hodgkin's lymphoma, call the number on your screen now. Call 1 800 554 8285. Attention, have you or a loved one been diagnosed with cancer after using Zantac or other heartburn medications for several months? You may be entitled to compensation. The FDA has warned that Zantac and other medications containing heartburn drug ranitidine may be contaminated with cancer-causing agent NDMA. Call Zantac Claims right now for a free consultation. Consult your physician prior to discontinuing use of any medication. Please call 800-379-6693. The Sentinel Group sponsors this paid advertisement for legal services. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with cancer after using Zantac or other heartburn medications for several months? You may be entitled to compensation. The FDA has warned that Zantac and other medications containing heartburn drug ranitidine may be contaminated with cancer-causing agent NDMA. Consult your physician prior to discontinuing use of any medication. Please call 800-535-9765. Two, three, one. Welcome back to Naples, Florida, the Paradise Coast, where we bring you wall-to-wall -wall coverage at the Liquid Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. It's time to dive into the final moto. Let's kudos to Ian Tosca for getting on a brand new boat. You said he got yeah. it two weeks ago. Yeah. Come on, to the World Championships. <laughs> he is really riding the uh, fiberglass off of that. Watch him out there at the far side of the court as he makes the drive. And uh, let's drop it down to Eileen. Thanks, guys. Someone to watch out for this race is the Naples native, Arminio Iantosca. He's the reigning pro runabout box stock world champ, and he's actually fueled by the pizza parlor that's right down the street. He owns Mamma Mia's Pizza, and I don't know about you guys, but that's where I'm going to be headed at the end of the day. Back to you. We're great knowledge, you have, great knowledge <laughs> Eileen. And you know what? We're going to be there with you. If you haven't been to Mama Mia's Pizza oh, here man. in Naples, man, you were missing out. It is fantastic. And I and Tosca, you know, what a great guy, great family. We have been friends with them, that entire family, Forever. for years and years. Yeah. And, yeah, Mama Mia's is the place to go here in Naples, to say yeah. the least. Well, you know what? He is a fan favorite here in Naples, obviously. I'll tell you what, though. The story of the day right now is Rashid Aldawas, the young man from Kuwait, who has had but none of it. Look at Mac making a move, trying to make a pass. And he's going around there working their oh. way through the lap traffic right now. And oh, he gets around 30. That was 30. Yes, was yeah, the no, leader. it was. They and banged McCluggage holes, too. Just wore, yeah, as I said earlier, when McCluggage is coming <laughs> on the gas behind you, be yeah. careful because this guy will not let off. He is absolutely tenacious, and he will take you out if necessary to get around. No question about that. He's done it before. He is not to be denied when he's out on the racetrack. Yeah, no question about it. Well, watch him as they come around. McCluggage now out in front. Now, uh, mathematically, there's no way that McCluggage is going to win the overall. No. The young rider from Kuwait mm, is a little bit no. further back. I think Ian Tosk is in the catbird seat right well, now. Ian Tosk is looking good, as is Brian Baldwin. So if Ian Tosk uh, He'll have is, two, is no, he'd have one position ahead of Baldwin, he gets the overall. This is going to difference. be tight. we got a ways to go here, but this yeah. is going to be tight. McCluggage out in front now, number 46, the race leader. And here comes Ian Tosca. Both these riders out of Naples originally. Uh, Mac now living here right now, but originally from here. Grew up together, both families very, very close, and it is 
Ian Tosca trying to track down McCluggage. McCluggage having none of it out in front yeah. and charging on that 46. Ooh. And here comes Oh, here Ian comes Ian Tosca right Look behind Ian McCluggage. Tosca with a charge going. He's can, got it going on. You know, McCluggage, he, he was halfway raised at Mama Mia's. <laughs> he was, definitely. Yeah, no, seriously. And uh, no question about it. And uh, he is... Those two are battling. Trying to keep his buddy, his lifelong friend, uh, at bay right now. This is going to be interesting as... Ian Tosca, number four, really on the gas, working his way on the backside of the track, trying to track down the Mac attack. On a brand new boat in the top in Pro Am runabout. There is almost impossible to bring a new boat out and ride it the way our media is doing it now. Typically, but, it takes about a year of development on these boats to get them dialed into where they like them. But this new sea out. dude is looking fast. One lap to go for Mac, 46, and Ian Tosca, number four, in second. Well, tell you what, Rick, look out on the track, because right in front of McCluggage are about four or five lapped riders. This could be the, the opening that Arminio needs. Let's see what happens. Matt goes to the inside. Well, Arminio, Arminio goes to the well outside. As, Arminio, as, sorry, Kurt, Arminio as well also has to work through those same lapped riders. So that could be kind of an equalizer. Who knows here? That Sea Dew, though, is looking good under Arminio Iatosca. That new 2021 Sea Dew, really fast. But McCluggage, I don't know. Tough, tough company out there. So Arminio must have done the, the, the math because he followed McCluggage through here. The checkered flag coming out. Your moto winner, Chris McCluggage. I'm here with pro runabout lockstock world champion Arminio Iantosca. Arminio, this is your second title. What makes this one so much sweeter besides the champagne showers? Yeah, you know, this one's really sweet. Sea Dew just came out with a 2021 model, new RXPX. Um, we had limited time to get it ready and to go out there and be really consistent. It performed the way it is. It has a really bright future, and I'm glad I can bring this you know, title home to see you this year and show what the new, you know, the new ski can do. I think. And what you'll see later on in the show might have you flipping out of your seat. The freestyle competition still to come on the 2020 Liquid Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. Liquid Molly has been number one in Germany for the past 10 years in motor oils and additive. We're super excited to bring the marine range now in North America. All that experience in the performance and the racing industry translated into the marine world couldn't be a better combination. Are you scared of using your warranty? Well, you shouldn't. Liquid Molly Marine product has all the approvals from the National Marine Manufacturers Association, FCW, TCW3, and also API specs. Please refer to your owner's manual for ride viscosity. Use the best to maintain your passion. You're so ready to escape from your every day, and it's time to reintroduce you to So Padre. Now's the time to start planning and dreaming of your tropical island getaway. We are so ready to welcome you back to your island. We are committed to keeping our visitors safe so you can travel responsibly when you visit Sao Padre Island. So ready, So Padre. Learn more at SoPadre.com. This community will be back and will be back sooner than predicted. It's just in our DNA to never give up. We are going to emerge from this as a stronger community. Grit is just pure determination in the worst of circumstances and never look down, never look back. The people of Southwest Louisiana are just made of pure grit. Dear Max, Dear Abigail, Harper, and Hudson, I know I'm not supposed to choose favorites, but you're my number one. Sent you a little something special. Happy holidays, love, Grandma. Harper, Hudson, let's open your presents from Grandma. Come here, Max. the perfect gifts this holiday from Chewy.
these little cups would make great stocking stuffers. But how about right now in your mouth stuffers? Happy holidays to your mouth. Not sorry, Reese's. DiGiorno has seven delicious crusts, and your family food critics will rave. Croissant crust is flaky layers of buttery bliss. Rising crust is fresh baked deliciousness. There's a five-star pizza for everyone in your family to love. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. So here we are in Naples. It's the world championship. Every year, the place to be is right here. Pro Water Cross is on a great event. Beautiful lake, great white sandy beaches, and it all comes down to this weekend. But I love it because I can sleep in my own bed and only drive 10 minutes to get here. Plus my restaurant's here, so all the racers come, you know, get their pizza, eat, we catch up for the year. And uh, it's just, you know, it's very relaxing to be in your hometown, on your home lake, so. Florida, the Paradise Coast, where we bring you wall-to-wall -wall coverage for the Liqua Mali Pro Watercross World Championship. It's time to dive into the final moto. Let's take it up to the booth. Kurt and Rick. Christian Daly, really the rider to watch uh, in this pro sports stock class. He comes from Indiana, a long history of racing in his family. His dad, Derek Daly, one of the great car drivers in American history, and Christian Daly on that c HX is always a threat for a championship. Devin Farthing uh, comes from a racing family. His father, a multi-time world and national champion. He has been on the gas all year long, faster every time we see him. His equipment is spectacular. Devin Farthing could be your winner. Sports stock on the line, the fastest sport boats on the planet. This is the third and final moto. Well, keep an eye on Christian Daly. Christian on the inside. Uh, he has dominated so far today. Boat number five, that Sea Dew. And he gets a strong start out of the gate and into the first turn on the inside. Daly's going to take the lead. On the outside, looks like the Farthing Brothers as bookends. Devin on the inside, Talon on the outside. Devin definitely charging hard. Got somebody trying to make the sweep. They won't make it. Here comes Devin Farthing on the outside. And Christian Daly on the inside, Rick. Yeah, Devin definitely pulled the whole shot on the outside. Here he comes charging down the front straightaway. It's going to be Farthing, but it is all Christian Daly. With the Davis Trailers hole shot, man, what a great start again for Daly. And look out for the rest of the field, Kurt. Well, I may be confused, but I believe that's Matt Johnson in the lead. Was that Johnson 50 on the... Uh, double nine. Double nine. Let's double check that. I believe that's Daly in third position and Farthing in you second correct, either Kurt, way. That is and here goes 99. Devin Farthing using the inside. Trying to chase down Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson on that double nine, been having a great rides all day. Farthing, up and down day, always fast. He's in second, having a battle though, and Daly gonna put the wood to it right now. Well, they all go to the outside split on this one, and look at Daly now coming around. I was wondering if Farthing was gonna be able to hold off Daly. Kevin is so fast on that blaster. He's looking over at Daly, and uh, he's looking over his right shoulder. He looks over his left shoulder, and here comes Daly. Oh, man, what a battle. I, I think Devin got a little bit of the scare there, and he may know the points going in as well. Well, remember the last moto when Daly went around Devin. Uh, it was very fast and aggressive. No question about it. But <laughs> Devin's still out that. front. And you know, while we're talking about that, Matt Johnson quietly is a distancing himself from second and third. Right now, Matt Johnson on a charge. He has two seconds, two and a first to be five overall. Daly with two, uh, two first, he could finish back uh, almost uh, third place. In yes. And still with the overall. So Daly yes. doesn't have to charge too hard. Matt uh, Johnson, number 99, looking good out in front. Oh, yeah. He's got Farthing behind him, charging in second. 
and then Daly. But, you know, Johnson, 37 years old out of Jacksonville, Florida, on that CUHX with a second place finish in both the first and second motos. So he is in contention for the overall here. And yeah. he's looking good. Look at him go on that HX. Takes a quick look over his shoulder and to check the position of both Farthy and Daly. And he's in a good position right now with a sizable lead. Here, here comes Daly, Daly inside Daly of Farthy. Daly the move on the, on the back straightaway. And just by points, Farthy's completely out of it. There's no yeah. chance. Yeah, Daly making the move around Farthy. Now he sets his sights on our race leader, Matt Johnson. Keep an eye on boat number five, Christian Daly, making the turn onto the front straightaway. Here comes 99 in the lead. Matt Johnson looked over his shoulder. You can see his eyes get large when he saw the number five, a Christian Daly, multi-time champion right behind him. Matt Johnson's riding the ride of his life right now. He got the whole shot. He's out in front. He's large and in charge. He's making decisions, and he's going to keep that lead as long as he can keep Christian Daly behind him. No easy job, Rick. Yeah, well, you know, uh, he is 37 years old, Matt Johnson is, and he's been around a long time, a lot of races under his belt. So he knows what the positions are, what the standings are. He has no doubt how fast Daly has been all day and that he is going to have to ride the race of his life to keep Daly behind him. But here comes Daly, and I think it's going to be really tough for Matt Johnson to keep him behind him for another lap. Well, Johnson just looked over his shoulder. He sees Daly right there. If it was me, I'd be nervous, but give it up for Matt Johnson. Yes. He's out in front, and until Daly gets by, it's his race to lose. And when we come back, we'll finish the pro sport on the Lake Wamali Pro Watercross World Championship. Lake Wamali does not only stand for outstanding performance, but also for reliability. This is Kevin with Freedom Boat Club here at Lake Lanier, Georgia. We made the switch over to Liquid Molly, which has been tremendous. It dropped our temperatures in all aspects. Exciting time for us. We'll see a whole lot less friction, resulting in longer engine life. This is an oil I encourage everybody else to use. Our customers rely on the quality made in Germany for your outstanding performance experience. Broward Motorsports, South Florida's premier power sports dealer with four locations, Davie, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Tequesta. A huge selection of new and used motorcycles, UTVs, ATVs, boats, trailers, and personal watercraft. Log on, check out the selection, and request a quote. Broward Motorsports will not be undersold. The best staff in the industry are ready to serve you. We also feature a customizing department to build the machine of your dreams. At Broward Motorsports, you gotta ride. If you like having fun on the water, you're going to love Florida's Paradise Coast. From fast-paced water sports to leisurely, laid-back adventures, this place has you covered. And when it's time to come ashore, the action is just as exciting. With award-winning dining, luxurious spas, and countless ways to play. So escape to a place where your options are as endless as the water. On Florida's Paradise Coast, Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades. Covering talent in different continents and entirely different sports, or discovering a smoother whiskey by double aging. Sometimes it's just better to stay curious. Jewers. Florida, the Paradise Coast, where we bring you wall-to-wall -wall coverage at the Liqua Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. It's time to dive into the final moto. And it is HX at that now. It's Johnson and Daly going at it on the far left-hand side. Johnson's got the lead, but Daly is right there. Christian Daly setting up Matt Johnson. I don't think Matt knows where he's going. Well, Daly is going inside, outside. He keeps looking for him. Yeah, he's going to know in just a couple of minutes because uh, yes, is. Christian Daly is closing the gap pretty quickly. But I'll give it to Matt Johnson. Kudos to him because the last two laps, he has really done a nice job of keeping Daly behind him. About the same amount of space, but Daly's going to charge, and this is going to be a battle. 
Let's go down to Eileen and see what she's got. Thanks, guys. Something to remember is that on this course, those buoys are moving as these athletes are speeding through the water. However, they are on a lake in non-ocean, so it does make for a little bit more of an equal level playing field. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Eileen. Well, still jo on the track. Yeah, Johnson, Johnson continues to keep Daly behind him, which is no small feat, and they come up on lap traffic now. This could play a role as uh, Johnson now has got to find his way a lot around some lapped riders and uh, Daly is lurking right behind him seeing if there's going to be a mistake see if, they, if uh, Johnson gets held up by lap traffic we got a rider off to the side there as our leaders go by oh and a mistake out on the track oh that was Daly that spun out momentarily and allowed Johnson to scoot away the first mistake we've seen all day by Christian Daly and that has allowed Johnson to extend that lead and uh, man it's going to make it a little tougher on Daly if he wants a clean sweep here today no Daly just made the pass That's a lapped rider. Uh, that is a lapped rider. It's Johnson. Johnson still that is That was Johnson the lead. making the pass. My yes. bad. Oh, and uh, somebody going out to make up a Miss Bowie, and Daly goes into the lead. Johnson had to go make up a Miss Bowie, and Daly inherits the lead. And Farthing now jams into third place, and he is right behind Matt Johnson looking to make a move on Johnson. Although in the overall scheme of things today, uh, Farthing is not going to really figure as he's had a rough day earlier um, in the motos. Yeah, watch Matt Johnson as he is tearing up this track. He sets that boat. He's in a relaxed mode. Christian Daly, you see Daly standing. Daly standing almost the entire race. Johnson uses the seat. Daly uses it only to push his thighs against. He breaks that boat, do things that uh, other people just can't make an, make an HX do, Rick. Well, Daly is uh, 23 years old. Johnson is 37 years old. And I'll take Daly's riding style um, over the two just because standing up definitely allows you to keep better control of the watercraft. And what happens when you're standing is you don't get knocked around the watercraft uh, as you as you do when you're sitting down. When you're sitting down, you get bounced around and get can get knocked off. When you're standing up, you can absorb the bumps and you can absorb all the different and keep control of the boat a lot better. Well, and one of the, the major benefits of standing is you lower uh, the center of gravity, and that's a significant advantage. You know, you're, all the weight is through your feet instead of up on the seat. You get to hold that thing wide open as the rains come to tell us. Yeah, that's we okay. We need to clean up the, the air. Daily out in front and jamming. And he is in control. He has dominated the first two motos. Christian Daly, of course, his dad, Derek Daly, one of the great race car drivers in American history. Talked to him earlier today. Good to see him here. And his son, Christian Daly, a dominant rider in pro watercross in this sport class as the, uh, the heavens descend on Naples, Florida right now in the middle of this moto. Here we go, Daly out in front and charging. Boat number five in complete control of the sports stock class. Yeah, the rain is going to affect these riders now. Well, I saw a rider earlier drop his goggles, yeah. and he's going to be hating that, that now. That's a White mistake flag right out. There. One lap to go. Your leader, Christian Daly, he has traffic in front of him. The rain is pouring down. It stings your skin like well, bees and at it, this it, speed. If you don't have your goggles on in the rain like this, you are going to get pelted in the eye. It's going to sting at 50 miles an hour out there, 60 miles an hour, whatever. These boats more 50, 40, 50 at top speed you get that those raindrops right into your eyeballs and it hurts you know mightily and you don't want that at all to say the least well but, i can uh, see christian uh, decided the way to take care of that is just finish the boat oh, look at the speed wide open on the back straight and this is a final time through daily taking the right the left two boats in front of him two more buoys for a championship Watch him as he makes the turn. Folks, give him some applause. Christian Daly, your new Pro Watercross World Champion.
We're in tech right now where all the boats are teched. I'm here with sports stock world champion Christian Daly. Christian, what was your mindset going into today? Uh, my mindset was just to focus on the process of winning. Uh, and that, you know, takes doing all the things right, uh, one step at a time, make sure the boat's got fuel in it, uh, you know, and the rest falls into place. So. And still ahead, the most wild stunts you're going to see on a body of water, the freestyle competition at the Liqui Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. Liqui Molly Pro Watercross World Championship presented by Broward Motorsports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Florida's Paradise Coast Naples, Marco Island Everglades. By Liqui Molly, maintain your passion. And by Broward Motorsports, you got to ride. Oh, look what you found. Casper's Black Friday sale is here with our best deal ever, up to 30% off for a limited time. So you can make your bedroom magical and wrap up a little comfort for everyone on your list. A plush and cooling mattress and pillows, silky soft sateen sheets, even our glow light for better sleep. All on sale now with our biggest offer of the year. Shop the Black Friday sale for up to 30% off at casper.com. This weekend, get the 5G America's been waiting for. Verizon 5G is next level. Unlimited plans fit everyone in your family starting at just $35, with 5G included at no extra cost. Plus, you'll get the entertainment and gaming the whole family will love. 100% obsessed with The Mandalorian. I watch a lot of sports. It has all my favorite shows. Switch now and get up to $13.50 off our best 5G phones. It's like a gift on top of another gift. Gifts keep coming at you. Everywhere. This is 5G from America's most reliable network. What some call nerves, you call butterflies. While others worry, you know you're up to the task. With a Jeep Compass, life isn't a test, it's an adventure. Which is why you're not looking back, you're looking forward. With employee pricing for all, get 4,752 below MSRP, plus 750 bonus cash on the 2021 Compass Trailhawk. Dear Max, dear Abigail, Harper, and Hudson, I know I'm not supposed to choose favorites, but you're my number one. Sent you a little something special. Happy holidays, love, Grandma. Harper, Hudson, let's open your presents from Grandma. Come here, Max. Here you go. <laughs> Abigail. Guys, say cheese. Come on. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Did you get the gift we sent you, Mom? We did. We loved it. We should do this every year. Give the perfect gifts this holiday from Chewy. These little cups would make great stocking stuffers. But how about right now in your mouth stuffers? Happy holidays to your mouth. Not sorry, Reese's. Welcome back to Sugden Regional Park here in beautiful Naples, Florida at the 2020 Liqui Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. It's now time to find out a world champion in the final moto of Pro Ski GP. Guys, up to you. Well, Pro Ski GP, you know, Matthew Richuk is a young rider that we've seen emerge over the last couple of years, and I think he is going to be a threat here today in that class. I, I agree with you. He's, he's solid, but the 44 of Camden Powell, that young man has been on a charge for the last couple of years. Spoke with his dad. We saw him earlier in the week, and I, I feel like I've got the... I've, the pulse on this uh, pro ski GP. I, I think it's got to be Camden Powell. All right, Kurt, here we go, buddy, man. Hey, this is I'm it. excited. Moto Boy, number, I'm yeah, moto number three, and this is going to be it. Keep an eye on, in the, on the inside. Dustin Matsuris, boat number 50. He is dominated today. The first two motos, here we go. This is for all the marbles and the blood and the mud and the beer here in Naples. Here we go. Whoa, Cam Newton throwing it down in front of Dustin Monsuris. Oh, yeah. Cam Newton, Newton with the whole show wow. on the inside. That number 44 is on fire. The young man from uh, the Syracuse Mafia out front with a whole shot. 116 on the outside. Devin Farley comes around in front of Monsuris. Can he make the pass stick? No, Mons is going to no, keep the throttle in and says, no way, buddy. Here we go. That was a Watcon.com hole shot right there. 
Yeah, oh man, Cam Powell with a brilliant hole shot and look at him charge on the back part of the straightaway on that number 44, bullet hole machine. Uh, he was a little disappointed in his first two finishes here earlier today in motos one and two, but now he is out in front and trying to show everybody what he can do on this bullet machine and he is looking good. But here comes number 50, Dustin Matsuris on the charge behind him. I'll tell you what, I, I was watching Cam at the break. He was talking to his dad, Derek Powell, longtime uh, racer and multi-time champion. And uh, I think he got his head on straight. Cam got the start and I, I'm going to say right now, I don't think Mott's gets by. I tell you what, he was not riding like he is capable of in those first two motos. Absolutely. But I might disagree with you. Now, okay. one thing I'll say is Matsuris doesn't need to win here exactly. in moto number three. But he is charging. And, uh, you know, Mott's is a tenacious competitor. And I know regardless of anything, he wants to win. And here he, we go. You know Left hand side of the track. I'm going to take Matsuris. Here's what I heard. Blah, blah. Blah, Cam wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we no, go. On the front straightaway, don't. number 44 and number 50 right behind him. 44, Cam Powell on the gas, the young rider out of Syracuse, Indiana. And he has got John Dustin Matsuris behind him out of Epignani, South Africa. Mott's on the gas right now, trying to catch Cam Powell as they negotiate the log jumps. I just want to throw this out there. I believe that's Louis Vallee. I laugh went down he's in front of Powell that could hurt his chances the way and Cam takes the opposite side. Yes, he does. And Dustin takes the outside behind the lap rider. I think that's going to work out oh, well for Camden. Oh, here comes Dustin. Camden Powell wide open, and he is starting to pull away from Dustin Matsaris. Well, look at these two go at it right now. This is an awesome race we've got here in moto number three. Dustin with wins in the first two motos, but it's Cam Powell out in front and charging. Bullet versus Commander. Well, all right now, Bullet's out in front. Commander in second. Number 50, Matsuris. Let's see what he's got for Cam Powell, the young rider out of Syracuse, Indiana. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. You know, we're talking about this very aggressively, but either one of those riders, you beat them in the pits, they're the nicest people. Oh, you get yeah. a, you get a powerful machine underneath them, put a starting line in, and look out, folks. All bets are off. Camden Powell is wide open, and this young man has got to be excited. A multi-time world champion behind him. Arguably the fastest stand-up rider on the planet, and Camden Powell has kept him behind him for two laps now. No reason he can't keep it up. Let's watch the split course, Rick. Yeah, Dustin Matsuris as fast as they come. You're absolutely right about that. And he is closing the gap now on on Powell, but it's we got a ways to go. Cam Powell is riding the best race he's ridden in a while, and he is keeping Mott's behind him, and that is no small feat, as we know, because Mott's absolutely dominated motos one and two earlier today, Kurt. Well, I think the log jump may be the equalizer here. Dustin Mott's has been over it many times, oh. and frankly, Cam Powell just popped over it. Did like you see him go over it right then? He didn't it's even. It's phenomenal. He negotiated that like it wasn't even there, never lost his drive, kept that pump hooked up, and uh, he is out in front right now and charging, Kurt. Well, Matsuris has decided he's following. Wherever Camden Powell is going, Mats is putting the pressure on. Dustin Matsuris, he's been doing this a long time at the top of the heap. He's putting the pressure on the young man. He doesn't need to pass him. He wants to make him make a mistake. This could harden Camden Powell like steel on steel. Camden Powell out front, having the right of his life. Oh, man, Dustin Matsuris is really charging. Powell, though, the young rider out of Syracuse, Indiana, he is looking so good on that 44 bullet. Uh -oh. And just as I said that, Powell made a mistake and allowed Matsuris to gain just about a bow length right there. Here comes Matsuris on the charge. Well, we got lapped riders in front of Camden. That's what's happening. They're wrapping up the water. He hit a little side wave. He wasn't anticipating. He's taking the inside. Lappers on the outside. And Dustin going outside. Once again, Camden Powell getting the opportunity to stretch the lead if he can get that lapper between himself and Matsuris. And he did once again, Rick. Oh, Matsuris just charging right now. He's got Powell in his gun sights. Here we go. This is going to be a battle. 44 and 50. 
Cam Powell, Dustin Matsuris going at it. Boy, the rain subsided here just in time for this Pro Ski GP third moto. And what a battle we're watching. This is one of the best I've seen in a while with Powell getting out in front of Matsuris at the start and not letting Mats get by. And look at the riders that Camden Powell and Dustin Matsuris are, are passing. Sammy Nimi, there's uh, David Cabrera. Just go down the list. These two riders are on wide open. Camden Powell, the young man, going to make that turn, make the decision on the back straightaway, and Matsuris follows. What a battle. Let's go down to Eileen on the beach. Thanks, guys. Physicality is so important in this sport. I talked to Dustin Montzuris earlier, and he told me that his training has actually been affected by the pandemic this year. So I asked him, what have you been doing instead? He said, I've been kicking it old school, meaning sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, and I think it's been working out for him. Guys, back to you. Oh, and it's paying off right now because Matsuris is really closing the gap. He's dominated the first two motos cleanly, but right now, Cam Powell, man, he's keeping Mats at bay. Rick Lake, I completely disagree. Cam Powell is riding strong out in front, and if he gets the opportunity to pull away from Matsuris, he's going to do it. I'm going to tell you so much respect for Matsuris. He's going through that lap traffic like a hot knife through butter. Powell, when he gets an open field, he starts to extend for Matsuris. Matsuris, just a little, not a lot. As you said, Dustin can hang back. He's got the overall either way. Yes. But uh, Cam Powell is riding a race of his life. Dustin Matsuris trying to make a move. These two may be side by side. As they go down the back straightaway, who's it going to be? It's going to be Camden Powell once again, Rick. Well, we know that Dustin Matsuris has the overall regardless here. He is in uh, a perfect position to take the world championship, no problem. He knows that. He's not going to do anything crazy to get by Powell. Powell, and he may not have to. He's going to have to, though, get up behind Powell and force Powell to make. Oh, and Powell there makes an go. error right there. Here we go. It's not enough. Just as I was saying that, Powell made a mistake. Allows Dustin to get a little closer. Powell may be starting to feel the pressure right now to keep Matsuris behind him. Yeah, no what? question about it, Rick. You saw it right there. There was no reason for that. Camden had a lap of converse, con concentration for just a second. That's all it takes him pro water cross racing in a pro ski GP ride. Well, for Cam Powell to keep Dustin Matsuris behind him in a world championship race like this is amazing. This is the ride. This is the ride of his life. Powell is riding for absolutely everything he's got, but yet here comes Mats. Mats is mistake free, keeping the pressure on. Is Powell going to be able to not with you know succumb oh. to the pressure and oh. make a mistake again? Rick, let me just tell you. I, I hate to say this with my prediction, but I'm watching Camden Powell. He's getting tired. He's his his uh, elbows are starting to drop. His head's dropping down. Uh, He's got to have some excitement, you know, some adrenaline. I think if he sees the front of Matza's boat next to him, that might be enough to give him the adrenaline to finish this race. But right now, it's the old man, Dustin Matsuris, who's driving this train home. Well, one way or the other, we are watching a phenomenal battle here wow. out in front of this. Oh, and here comes Matsuris on the outside. Matsuris charging hard on the outside of Powell. Here Powell now side keeping side. a pin. Here they go. This is the battle. Oh, Powell's spins out a little bit. No, Matsuris does as well. They both make a mistake. Powell recovers and keeps Matsuris behind him. Absolutely brilliant riding by young Camden Powell on that bullet boat right now. Powell on the gas. White flag out. One lap to go for Cam Powell. Cam Powell do taking it. the left off of the front straight. That's the adrenaline I was talking about, Rick. They touch. Look at Powell now. He's focused. He's over the front of the machine. Hold that throttle wide open. He has got a half a lap to go. If he wants to beat a world champion, I'm telling you, he's not going to get the overall. This is just as good for a young man like Camden oh, Powell. Oh, this is a brilliant ride. This is the ride of oh, Cam this Powell's is be life Watch right here. Watch this split, Rick. Sorry, and don't mean to go over you. No, Watch this is going to tell the tale right here on that back straightaway. And here comes Matsuris. Matsuris charging hard. Boat number 50. Is he going to have enough to? No. He's in. Is Powell going to shut the door? Powell shuts the door one more. Oh, Mats on the inside. It's Matsuras, number 50, getting around Powell on the last lap. Three buoys to go. Dustin Matsuras proves why he is a multiple world and national champion and takes the win. Amazing battle. Dustin Matsuras, the world champion. 
Liquid Molly has been number one in Germany for the past 10 years in motor oils and additives. We're super excited to bring the marine range now in North America. All that experience in the performance and the racing industry translated into the marine world couldn't be a better combination. Are you scared of using a warranty? Well, you shouldn't. Liquid Molly Marine product has all the approvals from the National Marine Manufacturers Association, FCW, TCW3, and also API specs. Please refer to your owner's manual for ride viscosity. Use the best to maintain your passion. I chose the nighttime aligners because it's so easy. It's hard to find time to go to the dentist with a busy schedule. And my mom. And I have a full-time job, of course. Phone calls, some meetings. Walking my dog. Yeah, I'm pretty busy. So I had no idea that you could straighten your teeth while you sleep. Before you go to bed, pop them in. The nighttime clear aligners work perfect with my schedule. When I see myself, I think, wow, that's incredible. Goodbye, Gab. Hello, new me. Hello. Beautiful, right? Real people, real stories, real results. Get started for free at smiledirectclub.com. Christmas trees try so hard. Lights and ornaments and little choo-choo drains, come on. The best trees, they kind of only need two things. Peanut butter and chocolate. Not sorry, Reese's. It's off the Leonard. Defended by Simmons. Is this the tiger? Hi folks, Joe Namath here, and if you're on Medicare, today is one of the only days of this year you can update your coverage and benefits. Before the deadline, you're entitled to eliminate co-pays and get dental, prescriptions, transportation, and meals at no additional cost. Plus, your zip code may have coverage with the Give Back benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. I call to get dental, transportation, meals, and the Give Back benefit. They help me so much. With this virus situation, I called to get everything I'm entitled to. I couldn't believe I was missing out on so many benefits. With the uncertainty of the virus, you need to get everything you're entitled to. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Don't miss the deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-775-9500. That's 1-800-775-9500 now. Here we go. This is for all the marbles and the blood and the mud and the beer here in Naples. But here comes number 50, Dustin Matsuris on the charge behind him. Well, look at these two go at it right now. This is an awesome race we've got here in moto number three. Matsur is charging hard on the outside of Powell. Here Powell now keeping it pinned. Here they go. This is the battle. Oh, Powell spins out a little bit. No, Matsur does as well. They both make a mistake. Powell recovers and keeps Matsur behind him. Oh, Mats on the inside. It's Matsur number 50 getting around Powell on the last lap. Three boys to go. Dustin Matsuris proves why he is a multiple world and national champion and takes the win. Amazing battle. Dustin Matsuris, the world champion. I'm here with Pro Ski GP world champ Dustin Matsuris. Dustin, this is a four-peat for you. How are you able to be so successful? Yeah, I mean, honestly, a lot of hard work. Uh, my team over at Command Industries, everybody that puts uh, all the work into my GP1, Rockstar Energy, energy Drink, uh, Jet Pilot, all the guys that back us, um, it's definitely a team effort. So uh, I get to pilot the, you know, that the GP1 around, but it's all the work behind the scenes that gets me here. And uh, without those guys, honestly, I couldn't do it. So thanks to my whole team, thanks to all the sponsors, Thanks to Pro Watercraft uh, Cross for putting on this awesome event and Liquid Molly. And uh, yeah, just excited to be racing and uh, yeah, just ready for the next one already. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And what you've been waiting for all show long the freestyle competition at the Liquid Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank you for 
watching the Liquid Molly Pro Watercross World Championship. For more watercross action, visit ProWatercross.com. For Kurt, Rick, and myself, Eileen.